How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today we're going to be looking at a mechanical keyboard. This is the Geek GK61 RGB keyboard. This is a USB-C keyboard and it was sent to me by Banggood. And I'll have an affiliate link in the description below where you can go to buy this and also help support the channel. So this was sent to me for free and I'm really happy to open it up because it looked really cool on the listing. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open the box and check it out. Ooh, look at that. Push it down a little bit. And it comes kind of encased in this little cardboard area so it's safe when it travels. Go ahead and pull it out of here. Now these are brown switches, so they're mechanical switches. Let's go ahead and focus in on it. This one doesn't come with a number pad. It is a 61 key. It's kind of a smaller one, as you can see, the size of my hand compared to the keyboard. It's kind of nice and compact. I could actually set this next to a laptop. It'd probably be really nice as well. So let's go ahead and open it up. There we go, went ahead and peeled that off. And let's just go ahead and slide this guy out. Wow, this feels really nice in the hands, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of feels uh, like it has a nice weight to it, kind of premium feeling. And I'm gonna be honest, I was not expecting that with a kind of cheaper keyboard like this, but it actually feels really nice. Let's go ahead and set that down. And let's type my name. Works pretty good. Hello, everyone. This is JHR Reviews. Enter. Yeah, it feels really nice. And it's supposed to be RGB as well, so we're gonna go ahead and get this turned on. So it said that it's supposed to come with a USB-C, I believe. Um, I didn't see it in the box, but it might be under the flap, so let's take a look. And here it is. It did come with a USB-C. It was underneath the other portion. So let's go ahead and open this up. Comes with a nice little Velcro strap for it and a braided cord, which is very nice feeling. Keep in mind, this is an honest review. I know I'm saying positive things about it, but I would be telling you if there's anything wrong with it, even if I am doing this through an affiliate link. I'm always honest about my products I review. So let's go ahead and continue on. I'm gonna plug that in to the port on the back, which is the USB-C port. And then we can just plug this into my computer off to the side. All right, I went ahead and plugged it in. Warning for anybody who has photo sensitivity, some of these lights will probably flash. I'm unsure if it will trigger anything, but just to be safe, I'm putting this warning right now. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first setting that I'm on is the kind of touch setting where if you click a specific key, it will light up. There we go. You control with FN and then press again. So now when you press, it kind of gives off a interesting little uh, kind of flash of light, almost like a lightning bolt or something. FN again. And now we have a kind of wave that kind of disperses wherever you press, which is really cool. FN again. Actually, with this wave thing I didn't notice, it actually reacts to sound, which is insane. So if you're gaming, it'll actually react if you're playing on speaker. So look at this. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, how cool is that? Let's go ahead and check out the other settings too. And then back again to the original position. And you can also press FN as well right here to adjust the brightness, I believe. There we go. And there's a bunch of other settings. This is actually programmable from what it says. You could actually program specific keys to light up. So how cool is that? Looks as though we have some other settings right here. 
So this is if it just wanted to be static. So that's a static green. Now this is the wave. Side to side. Up and down, which is really cool looking. Back to static. Not sure what that one does. Oh, this is the brightness adjustment, I believe. Yeah, look at that. So you can hold it and bring it all the way to maximum. It's pretty bright. Very cool. And then I'm unsure how we do... This one's all the effects. I'm unsure how we currently change the color itself. That's just to turn it off and on, it looks like. But I'll figure that out later. Anyways, green is one of my favorite colors, so I'm not complaining. And I already know we can change the colors based on what lights up. So that is super cool. And it sounds nice, too. So um, I taught myself how to type when I was a kid. So if you notice me typing with only a few fingers, that's kind of how I do it. I kind of taught myself how to type myself. Uh, interesting little story. I won't go on about it. But basically, online chat groups taught me how to type. So... LOL, what's up, dude? This keyboard is cool. Enter. Very nice. And I actually have it plugged in my PC, so my PC is probably freaking out right now. <laughs> but yeah, so that's actually pretty cool. I like that a lot. And it says it's Bluetooth as well, so I'm assuming there's a built-in battery. So I'm wondering if I unplug it, if it'll stay on. It did not. I wonder if there is something else that you need to do, or maybe this isn't the Bluetooth version. Because um, up here on the top of this, it has a multitude of uh, different keyboards that are listed right here. So this might not be the Bluetooth version. I'm not sure how I would test that out given the fact that the power is actually not on unless it's plugged in. But maybe if you plug it into a power supply, then the Bluetooth would be able to be activated. Unsure about that aspect, but I'll keep you up to date in the comments if there is any change with the Bluetooth setting in here. But this keyboard's really nice, and the keys are very nice and clicky and feel kind of smooth when you touch them, you know, like when the keys go in and out. Unlike my Razer keyboard, these feel a lot more, like, bouncy, if that makes any sense for anybody who has gaming keyboards. So, as I said, the affiliate link will be in the description below. And uh, before we end the video, let's go ahead and see what this last little thing in this box is. Oh, that's really nice. So before we end the video, I'm gonna tell you guys what this is. These are uh, key removers. So you can actually just stick these in between here and pull the keys out so that you can clean them and or replace them with different keys. How cool is that? There's actually a way you can 3D print keys and actually make your own keys too. Might make a video on that in the future. But yeah. What do you guys think about this keyboard? I think it's really cool, and I'm really happy I was sent this out because I needed another keyboard too for my other PC, so this works out. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.